Hey again, it's Coach Miller from B2B Lax. What I want to talk about today is sliding, and I want to go into it a little more in depth. So we have a few terms up here. I have threat up top and X, and I'll explain those um, in more detail as we go along. But before I do that, I just want to talk about sliding from you know a defensive standpoint. So sliding is you know help defense. You're recovering to guard a guy that had initially beat a man. All right, and so you need to guard that particular guy, otherwise he's going to have a clear path to the goal and score. So the best offenses cause defenses to slide a lot. And the more they cause them to rotate, the more opportunity it is for that defense to break down. Hence, the more opportunity is as soon as they break down, the offense has scoring opportunities. So an open six a goal, and if you have good offensive players, like you have to give them a little bit of a window, they're going to score. So with that being said, Defensively, there's times when you're playing against an offense and everything, you know, you feel good about your matchup overall as a team and you don't need to slide all the time. So with that being said, you can disguise slides, okay? So you can have a, an instance where your defenseman looks like he's going to slide, but in reality he doesn't because this offensive midi over here, this offensive midi over here, He's got the ball, all right, and this guy's guarding him. And you have a defenseman here who's the hot slide. He's saying I'm one, I'm one, I'm one. It looks like he's going, looks like he's going, but this midi's playing good defense. Like this guy never beat him. So if he never beat him, there's no reason to slide because if you slide, you're causing the defense to rotate. And with that, like it gives them opportunities to eventually find holes in the defense and score goals. So if this guy just stays here, looks like he's going, then there's no rotation. You're playing good defense, all right? And that's what it's all about, playing good defense. So you're disguising the slide. So when I talk about, when I talk about threat over here, what I'm talking about is identifying, is this guy with the ball a threat? Like, so is he going to beat the guy who's guarding him? And if he is, then you need to slide. But if he's not, you don't necessarily have to slide, all right? And the more times you don't have to slide, then you're playing solid defense, no rotation, it's going to be much harder for the offenses to score. So identify if that guy's a slide, if that guy's a threat, sorry. So he goes, he doesn't go anywhere. Let me just draw it out a little bit more here. You have an attack one over there, or also have a midi over here. Midi over here. <clears throat> Attackman, D, midi. So he doesn't slide, pass. Pass. We're still playing six on six. There's no, there's no rotation. All right. So that's what it looks like from up top. You know, if you don't have to slide. All right. So when I talk about from X, what I'm going to draw it out here is identify if that attackman is indeed a threat. All right. So you have your offensive midi with the ball back there. You got this D guy here. He's coming this way. You have another attackman over here. A D guy there. Ready. Get this guy out wide. Put him midi. There. Midi. Midi. All right, you got a LSM there. D midi, midi, okay. This guy's going. A lot of teams slide cross crease. But if this guy doesn't have to go, right, and he just stays there, because this guy's not a threat and you feel good about this matchup, and he just gets to there, and this demon's over there, then look at it, it's still six on six defense. There's no opportunity to score there, right? So, whereas if he did have to go, just to show you what would happen, say this guy gets beat, so now it looks like this. This defenseman's hanging out to dry. This attack one's coming up. If you don't go, he's got a layup. So he goes, boom. 
If this guy doesn't get down in time, he's got an easy pass across the top for a layup, you know? Especially if this guy's cagey. So as soon as he goes, then he could go somewhere. That, see, all the opportunities arise, but if you don't need a slide, because you're playing good defense and the attackman's not a threat, or the midi's not a threat, then don't slide, you know? So just keep it, you, you don't always have to slide. People are always like, oh, the one, the two, the three, like who are those, you know, who are the matchups? But more often than, well, not more often than not, but there's times where you don't need to slide. So just identify that. And once you do, you become a better, you know, you'll have that better defensive IQ. You understand the sliding, when and when not to, and then you'll just play better team defense. So with Coach Miller from BTB Lax, we'll see you in more videos. Hey, Coach Miller here. And I want to talk to you for a minute because I've got a question for you. Why are you still here? And what I mean by that is, why are you still here on YouTube looking up lacrosse videos? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're looking for those tips, tricks, drills, and advice because you want to take your game to the next level. And I think that's pretty awesome, actually, that you're not on the field right now or in the gym, but instead you're at home on your computer or tablet looking up how to get better at a sport that I love, and you're doing it on your own time. It tells me that you love the game too, and you're probably pretty passionate about getting better. Well, I want you to watch something because I think it will be right up your alley. We spent a whole day with Mike Kimmel, an absolute beast of a lacrosse player, a college All-American at Hopkins and a multiple MLL All-Star. And we worked on putting together a completely free three-part training series for youth and high school players just like you. Because here's the thing, and don't get me wrong, I love YouTube and here at BTB we have a big YouTube channel with a ton of videos and whatnot because we want people to see it and improve. But a big problem with YouTube and with what you're doing right now, searching for videos just like the one you watched, is that it's unfocused. It's like you get this one tip or trick or fix or whatever it is. And I'll be honest with you, what you really should be doing is zeroing in on the two things that a lot of big time players, just like Mike, say are the two specific things that are really holding kids back from playing at their next level. Your offhand and your off ball play. Once you've got full confidence in your offhand, it opens up the entire field for you and effectively doubles your options, whether the ball's in your stick or not. In your off ball play, well, I can tell you that for about 90% of the time in a game, you don't have the ball. But the impact you can have on a game by making the right moves and decision off ball is staggering. So when I said earlier that we worked with Mike for a full day on the training series, that's what we focused on, like a laser. If you go through this free training, you're going to see the results right away. Trust me, thousands of kids have already gone through it, and that's the feedback we've gotten. Game changing. So, tell you what, stop browsing YouTube for the next 15 minutes, and right now go watch the first video in our three-part free training series with Mike Kimmel. Down below, there's a link in the description of this video that will take you straight to a page where you just enter your email and will instantly send you the first training. We'll send you the next two pieces over the next couple days. Can't wait to see you on the inside. Have a good one.